Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I'm not going to do a really long rambling intro like I always do. I'm just going to say, as always, if you're new here, welcome. Please go ahead and click that big subscribe button. It'll mean the world to me. And if you enjoyed this video after you've watched it, please go ahead and leave a massive thumbs up. Again, it means the world and it really makes my day. Also, I am really digging my hair today. This is what my hair looks like when I just leave it wet and go to sleep and it's really super duper curly. And I just think it looks really good. It looks like I've put a lot of effort into it and like it's like it's took me ages to get my hair really curly and everything, but all I did was wash it when I went to sleep. Um, this is my natural hair, this is what it looks like. I've always had really super curly and wavy hair. It is hella frizzy unfortunately, but I really like it. Anyway, enough rambling, let's get into the video. So today's video is actually really exciting. Now, if you've watched my previous video, which is my spring haul, you would know that I purchased this. Now, this is a wig, and today's video is going to be a unboxing, slash first impression, slash demo, just slash everything, really. And... The wig I have is this one here, and this is from Charisma Wigs on Amazon. Now, usually it comes in this packaging here, which just says Charisma on it, but for some reason, I got it sent to me like this, so that's kind of nice. I do usually, <clears throat> I do really like those black packaging, and I'm kind of confused as to why it's just got sent in this clear bag, but hey, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. Firstly, you do get a wig cap sent to you. You actually get two wig caps in this little package, which is really good. You always get three wig caps sent with your wigs from Charisma, which is brilliant. And then for the wig, here we go. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Now this did come in a, um, like a fishing net, but I have already took it out. Well, I've tried to take it out, it's like kind of still left in here. Why do I always do half a job, seriously? Uh, how do I get this out? What are you stuck on? Why can any of my videos ever go smoothly? There's always something that happens. Let's just, and there we go. So this wig, it just says, I don't have a clue what that says. What on earth does that say? There's like, it's just a lot of scribbles. Yeah, but this is the wig. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is exactly like the picture. I shall insert the picture here. So you can see the comparison to what I'm holding and the picture. Wow, this feels so soft. It's got a really nice smell to it. It doesn't smell like too, like, plasticky. I'm just wearing my fingers through it and... There's no hair so far, which is really, really good. It looks hella shiny because I do have my huge ring light on. And obviously with synthetic wigs, you will get quite a bit of shine, but you can always just get rid of that. Eating my own hair now. You can always just get rid of that with some dry shampoo. But please bear in mind, it's not this shiny, it's just because I have my ring light, like pointing literally down in my face. So this is just a overview of the wig. So this is the front. It has a center parting really nice parting really smooth and already made really don't have to do anything with that really you could just go ahead and put some concealer on that starts off with this gorgeous shiny very natural black and it has this beautiful fade this gorgeous blue like oh i've always dreamt of my hair like this i absolutely love blue and i love black and just having them two cools together just like oh heaven yeah, so this is what it looks like. So inside you do get, you get one clip, two clip, and three clips. You get two at the sides and one at the top. And inside you have these little straps here. Kind of like a bra strap, you just like clasp them to a hook and you like tighten the wig. So if you have like quite an average size head like mine, I like to tighten mine tight as possible just so it will fit on my head and it won't slip out, slip off throughout the day. So inside it's all very just like fantastically made. This lace is 
super super just oh I so I love these wigs this lace is just amazing um so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna tie my hair up really roughly and just stick the wig on just so you can see what it looks like before I cut the lace so I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna tighten straps as of yet just want to put this on This is a lace front wig as you can see and you're supposed to cut that off to your desired hairline. I think this hairline is really, really good, you can kind of see my own hair underneath. <laughs> so you just have a really natural hairline, do excuse my own hair, I really should have just put a wig cap on but yeah so you have and it just, the other thing about these wigs is that it does kind of lift up in the corners here um, but I haven't tightened it though so I mean if I tighten it, it shouldn't lift up too much but oh I love this wig the colour looks amazing like that part in though that is such a nice part I really don't have to do anything with that really um so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I shall cut the lace I always forget my scissors don't I don't I so we're taking that off it has tangled just a little bit I can still roll my fingers through it really nicely. It's really soft. Like it just feels like my own hair. It feels really, really soft and silky and like it looks not like natural because who has blue hair, but like it looks like natural hair fibres, which is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get some scissors and cut the other lace. So you want to cut the hair, the lace closest to the hairline as you can as possible without cutting the hair. So I like to make sure that all the hairs brushed back away from the lace you really don't want like literally any stray hairs coming across this because you will end up cutting them and it can ruin it just want to make sure that all the hairs are back so i like to start at the center first so i'm just going to go ahead and do a cut here and i'm just going to work my way to the left and to the right really hard to show on camera so as you can see that is all of the lace cut off so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and gently brush through this with my big paddle brush just to detangle it I can't get over how gorgeous this wig is see I'm that excited the wig is just so beautiful oh I love this color I'm just going to gently just brush through all of it. One thing I've noticed about this is it already has layers in it. I don't know if you can see. There's like these shorter bits here. Like it looks really layered and gorgeous. I might still go ahead and put some more extra layers in it around the face. But I love the fact that it's already layered. Like my other two wigs that I have by Charisma aren't layered. They're just one length. I love the fact that this has some slight layering, layering to it in the back. Which is really, really good. So I am just going to go ahead and just quickly braid my hair now I'm rubbish at braiding so do excuse this and I can't french braid so in my life so I'm just doing two normal pigtails the idea is just to get all your hair out the way and have it flat as your flat to your head as possible and I find with braiding that just helps a lot so I'm just gonna do that now sometimes I like to wear a wig, wig cap and sometimes I don't but for the purpose of this video, seeing as they have sent me some I will go ahead and wear a wig cap So these are just the deluxe wig caps They're superior quality and it's one size fits all As I said you do get two in here It's just like a giant sock That's what they look like I'm just going to go ahead and put this on smush around my own hair just to make sure it's completely flat I look like a sperm as everyone says 
mask and I have no idea what I'm doing, okay. So I am going to go ahead and tighten the clasps inside because I like my wigs pretty tight. So I'm just going to clasp them both in the middle. I'm just trying to find my parting again. It's really difficult once you've turned it upside down. So there we go. Let's so go ahead and put this on. I'm just going to play around with it till I am happy at where it's sitting. So you can see, even though I've had it on the tightest like clasp, it's still like you can't run your finger through your hair because it just lifts so probably have to invest in some like sticky wig tape or wig glue just to like sit them corners down you can always just use lash glue but I don't wear false lashes so I don't have any so those clips that I showed you in the beginning I'm just going to go ahead and slide them into the wig cap so it sits in place I love that part and it looks so good. I love how it sits like not too flat to my head, which is good. It's like it has a bit of volume there. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush through this again. So there is some shedding, but that is to be expected. I mean, really, it is synthetic, it is like plasticky. So it's just a little bit, it's actually not quite that much, which I'm quite impressed with, just a little bit. So you have to be really careful when you do brush this out. Oh, I love this wig. It looks so good. Oh, I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the classic concealer trick where you just put some concealer down the parting just to make it look a bit more natural and more unlike your own scalp. I'm just going to go ahead and pat that in with my finger just to blend it in a bit. like so and that is pretty much it and there we go so i'll just show you how long it is it's super duper long don't even know if you'll be able to see it all like it almost goes down to my bum i love the layers in it it looks so good So I absolutely love this wig, I think it's absolutely gorgeous, it fits perfectly, it's really well made. And the last final touch I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and spray some dry shampoo in it just to get rid of that shine. I'm just using the Batiste dry shampoo and I'm just going to spray some of that into it. So that probably doesn't look any different, like I say, it's because of my uh, spotlights, but in like real life, it's dulled it a lot and it looks really, really good. So I'm just going to brush through that one last time, just to dis distribute the product. I can never say that word. And there we go. Sometimes I like to wear it in like a half up, like style bun, but for this purpose of this video I'm just going to leave it down like this so you get the whole gist of it. As you can see the many times you move it does get tangled really easy so like if I was to wear this out in public which I probably will do because it's so gorgeous I will have to carry a brush with me and because it's so long and so gorgeous I'm going to play with it all day. It's just what it looks like from the front. It's really long, I love the layering, the short layers. It just looks really good. I actually don't think I need to cut this might just cut a few more around my face here. Um, I'll probably say that for another video. 
yeah, this is just what it looks like. It's so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. So this has been my first impression on the Charisma wigs. This is the black two. I don't even know what colour you'd call it. It's like a teal blue. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely love it. If you'd like to see more videos on how I style my wigs, cut them, how I wear them, etc, etc, do let me know in the comments below because I would love to do more wig videos. So I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing slash first impression of the Charisma wigs. I know I certainly did and we're wearing this all day now because I think she looks gorgeous. I actually have some of my own baby hairs out as well underneath. That's just helping it blend a lot better. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment on what the hell you're doing. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time. Thanks guys, bye.